Mullah Nasruddin hadn't taken a bath for a long time. He had also been wearing the same shirt for many days. One day, he was coming back home from the village market on his donkey. From the opposite side, a horse cart was coming very fast. Before Mullah Nasruddin's donkey could get aside, the cart had splashed mud on him. Some mud got stuck to his shirt. The shirt now became dirtier than before. When Nasruddin reached home, his wife saw the dirty shirt. She asked him to take it off immediately and take a bath. So finally Mullah went and took a bath. Mullah Nasruddin's wife took the shirt to the back of the house where she did her washing. When she looked at the shirt, she grumbled. How dirty the shirt is. It will be so difficult to wash it clean. She rubbed the shirt with soap. Then she kept the soap by her side and started beating the shirt with a thick stick. As the shirt was so dirty, it needed a lot of rubbing and beating before it could be really cleaned. While she was busy beating the shirt, a black crow swooped down from the nearby tree and flew away with the soap cake dot at first, she did not understand what had happened. But then she got up and started shouting angrily at the crow. She thought that if she would shout and flap her arms at the crow, it would be frightened and would drop the soap cake. But the crow did not get frightened at all. It sat quietly on a tree with the soap cake in its beak. Hearing the noise, Mullah Nasruddin came out of the house and asked his wife. What is the matter? Why are you shouting? The crow has taken away the soap cake. Never mind. Look at the color of the crow. Don't you think it needs the soap more than I do? The wife stared at Nasruddin. When she realized the meaning of his words, she smiled and continued to rinse the shirt with water. But please keep a watch. See that the crow doesn't steal any piece of cloth to hide its color. 